So today we're speedrunning through Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, and let me just tell you, this game's really broken. Now we're going to start the speedrun as soon as Freddy looks at himself in the mirror, and then we're going to pop out of him right away. Now the reason we can do this is because we turn the voice volume all the way down, and for some reason this gives an effect of skipping a bunch of the voice lines in the game. You can also see it right here where we go to look at Vanessa, the security guard, and then right after we do that we can take the Faz watch. So yeah, this saves a bunch of time, especially in the beginning of the game, because we won't have to to watch too many tutorial things. Now after we get the Faz watch, we'll open it up and then open that door. Now it's time to do the first vent sequence, where you know you're pretty much just walking through the vents, you see different characters like Roxy being kind of obsessed with herself, and Chica jamming out to the guitar. But yeah, like I said, we don't really hear voice lines for this speedrun, so it is a little awkward. We just kind of see the subtitles, but whatever, we just jump out of the vents. And then once we get out there, we now see a bigger area, and we can just continue running through the building. This is the beginning of the speedrun, there's not too much we can do right now other than just follow the directions and do everything as fast as possible. So we go over here and we're going to take a free photo pass. Because of course we have to get the photo pass to unlock Freddy and then we can use him. Which is also another moment where lowering the voice volume allows us to go in Freddy right away instead of talking to him for a while. Yeah, this simple trick is actually like the most insane thing in the game. Anyway, it's now time to get to the main lobby of the Pizza Plex. And we can use this trick where we jump over the stair thing and then make it to the bottom much faster. Faster, that's just a little speedrun trick. After that, Freddy notices that we're damaged, so instead of taking us to the front of the building, he decides to take us to the first aid tent. Then we just hide in here, and we see Vanessa again. She's a security guard that's looking for us, and we're trying to hide from her because we think she's evil. So we just listen to their conversation without actually listening to it. This is a really awkward part of the game when you can't even hear anything. They're just kind of making different movements. But finally, Vanessa is going to leave and we can get back in Freddy. So this is a pretty simple part of the game. If you haven't played this game before, the nice thing about Freddy is when you're in him, none of the animatronics or any of the enemies will be able to catch you. So we can freely walk with him, but we do notice that we are low on power because Freddy only has a certain amount of power before you can't use him anymore. And then he has to go to a recharge station and we have to exit him. So we exit him right around here, which is kind of the worst area, because right over here is going to be Chica, and if she sees us, she's going to kill us. So we knock some bottles down to distract her, wait a second for our stamina to recharge, and then just keep running. Now this is kind of a scary chase sequence, because sometimes Chica will be able to catch you, but if we play it fairly smart, then we should be okay. So we make it through Chica, we're not really worrying about her anymore, and we want to make sure we have enough stamina for once we see Monty the Alligator. Then it's just another chase sequence, we're running away from him, and as we're running, we get another chance to see Chica, but of course, we just keep running. I don't really care about talking to you guys. And yeah, pretty much after this, all that we have to do is make it to this safe room, where there's going to be another trick, because right away we can use the cameras, and this door is going to open immediately. This again is because of lowering the voice volume, and that also lets us sneak right past Chica, even though she sees us. Yeah, these enemies really are blind. So we made it to the front of the pizza plex, but of course, right as we make it here, it's going to close down. So hey, looks like we're gonna have to stay here for six more hours. Now to start preparing for our extended stay, we're going to get this present, which is going to be a complimentary entry pass. Then we can go back over to these entry gates and just walk through there, which we are going to see Chica is very close to her, but as long as we're playing this smart, she's not going to be able to get us. We just take the same path every single time, and she won't even see us, it's going to be perfect. So we have two things we have to get. The first thing we're going after though is the magnet. Now we have to go into this area, get past this security bot, and kind of just walk all the way back down. Then once we get over here, we see that there's a free mystery prize. So we collect it and we get the Mr. Hippo magnet. Then we see that Chica is on those stairs and that's where we want to get to, so we're going to create a distraction so she moves from that spot. Then after that, all we have to do is kind of just juke her out. She is running after me right now, which is actually insanely scary, but this entire speedrun is pretty much just about juking out the animatronics and being able to go fast, so we're able to make it away from her. Then we make it over to this place where we use our complimentary ticket, but it eats it. And this is where we have to use the magnet, so we're able to get it this time. Now we have the daycare pass and we can go to our next area. So all we have to do at this point is just make sure we don't get captured by Chica because of course if we do, we're going to die. Yeah, that section is actually insanely scary. There are so many things that can go wrong. But now it's time for another very scary section, which is going to be the daycare attendant. So we go inside his building and we see some very not creepy statues before going down the slide. Now normally this is where we'd get introduced to the sun guy, but instead we're going to use this glitch where we go back into the slide. So we can jump here and then crouch 
and then we can crawl through the slide. After crawling for a little bit, here's where we have to gain some momentum, jump, and then if we hold W and D and jump repeatedly, we'll glitch through it. This makes sure we don't have to see a cutscene and skips a little bit more of the game. Now we can make it to the security desk where we get the security badge and then do a little bit of movement because usually our character would be too scared to get out of here without taking a flashlight. Instead of using a flashlight though, what we're going to do is increase our gamma all the way and that's going to make the area a lot brighter. Not during this cutscene because for some reason the gamma just doesn't work for cutscenes, but you'll see as soon as that's done. Oh, and hey, look, it's Moon. Yeah, this guy isn't scary at all. But this part actually isn't scary because we have a very specific path we're going to be taking. First, we cause a distraction and then we're going to run into this area. We're going to get our first generator and then it's pretty much just knowing the entire layout. There's really no way for us to get caught as long as we take this place because we did the distraction. So Moon has to go and fix that before he comes after us. And I'm happy to say I've actually gotten pretty good at this path. When you're playing this casually, this place is terrifying because you have no idea where you're going and you don't know where the generators are. But of course, I'm speedrunning, so I know where everything is, I know the most effective path to get through it the fastest way, and all I have to do is make sure I don't mess it up. So finally, we make it to the end of here, we can turn on the last generator, and everything is now light. You'll also see we are going to keep our gamma all the way up for the rest of this run, that's just because it would take too much time to turn it back down and worry about that. So yeah, it is going to be a little bit brighter than it usually is. But now we're going to press the button, Sun is going to come and take us out, say we're banned from the daycare, and he also calls the other animatronics over. So we have to jump in Freddy right away just before Chica comes and tries to murder us. And hey, look, there's also Monty there. I don't know when he got there. It's kind of weird. But now it's time to go and walk through the lobby because we have to make it to another recharge station. Basically, Moon is now trying to find us and he can actually attack us even if we're in Freddy's costume. So this is kind of RNG and just hoping you don't get attacked. But as soon as we make it out this door, we are going to be safe. We go to this nice little cutscene where we make it to this recharge station and we also see a strange bunny that's probably not going to be important at all but of course we don't even talk about her because we don't have dialogue on and we can exit freddy now one thing we are going to want to make sure to do is repeatedly call freddy we don't want to be in him because it's slower than just running but for the next glitch in this run we do have to make sure he's with us at all times so we'll call him as we're in the elevator and just go down this is also a great sequence where you just kind of listen to music yeah, these elevator rides are really long. Oh yeah, you can also see as I'm going through this, sometimes my screen is vibrating and that's just because Freddy is running after me. He's such a lovable guy that causes earthquakes. But finally, we can exit the elevator, but MapBot comes and tries to give us a map. Now you can actually skip this, but I love MapBot so much, so I get the map anyway. It doesn't lose me too much time and okay, I just like him, all right? Don't be mean to me. Anyways, it's now time for the next sequence break. We're basically, we're going to this direction and then we're going in between these bars. We are not supposed to be in this place at all, so that's kind of hilarious. And that also means we won't have to worry about security guards as we also jump through this bar and now make it into another area where we're not supposed to be. And then finally, it's pretty much just going all the way over here into the Fazer Blast place. Now, usually to make it through this door, you need security level four. But instead of going through all the process to get that, we're going to use Freddy. So first of all, we have to wait for him to follow us and that always freaks me out how he just comes behind you. How'd you even get there, dude? But then we position Freddy over over here so he opens the door and then we can go inside of him then if we just turn and exit freddy we're just going to be able to make it through the invisible wall and make it to this place after this we're going to climb up these stairs on this way jump through there and make a fairly precise jump right through there so now we can get through the map and we can go all the way to the phaser blast place without worrying about anything yeah it's actually like one of the most insane skips of the run but don't worry because there's going to be an even more insane skip right after this so we're going to take the phaser gun right there and and now it's time to play a fun game. But before that, of course, we get another fun elevator sequence. Yeah, I gotta love these for speedruns. Now, usually in this area, you're trying to capture different zones while also not getting killed by Chica. But instead, we're just going out of bounds and we're going to break the entire game. So first of all, I have to make this one jump, which I actually did miss the first time. But we try that one more time. We can do two jumps right in a row and then do another jump right there. You can see Chica is right by me, but we're not gonna worry about her because, hey, you're gone already. 
Yeah, we have now just sequence break the entire game and we're kind of just finishing it now because we are now making it to a place with one of the endings and there we go. That's our time, 1550. I told you this game was broken. So we go disassemble Vanny, which is kind of a very gruesome scene and see that unfortunately in this ending, Freddy has died. But hey, at least we got a good time. That also puts me at fifth on speedrun.com, but obviously these places aren't that correct because this is a very new game. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.